Hi students of Chamberlain. Uh, what I thought I'd do is a few um, tutorials. I hope you can see my guitar okay there. Uh, a few tutorials on some popular songs uh, that you might want to learn. Um, so I'm do a uh, Ed Sheeran one for you to start off with. And um, if you is there any one you want to learn, um, please send me an email and I can either make you a tutorial video uh, and upload it for you or um, you can book a lesson uh, with me, a uh, Zoom lesson or something like that. Um, speak to Mr. Cardi about that. Get my get my email, uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, so, uh, one I know I've taught it to a few of you already, um, but I haven't seen you in quite a long time. So you might have forgotten, uh, or you know you might not have uh, might not have learned this one at all. Um, it is uh, Castle on the Hill by Ed Sheeran. Now. It's a simple-ish song. It's got chords in it. Um, this would be aimed at players that are kind of just about getting their hands around basic chords um, and strumming. Good thing about this song is the strumming pattern is quite easy. It's quite quick, but it's a simple pattern. Okay, so we're going to start with a chord of D, what we call D sus. Okay. Suspended second, proper name. Okay, so it's like a normal D chord that you might have learned already. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my middle finger where my index finger is, and we're going to leave that string open. We're not really going to play that string a lot. We, it doesn't matter if you hit it by mistake, but we're not really going to aim to hit that string. So we'll start off with we're just going to strum down on that chord. So it goes. But I'll tell you what, I'll play you the opening. Uh, bit on the guitar, opening passage on the guitar, uh, and then I'll break it down. So you've got. Alright. Okay, so, again, as I said, just starting with a D sus chord. Okay, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna accent the one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Our seven and eight is gonna be with our index finger on the top string. Okay. So what I did there is I add my first finger to the top string like that. Now with our pick, we don't really want to be aiming to hit those top strings until we get to actually play that note. So yeah. Otherwise you get this. Which doesn't sound good. So we want to aim for the root note, uh, which is D in this case. Okay, this is the D string for the first bit. And then we play the top string that note, which is an F sharp for your information. Okay, next one. Okay, same accents again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. We're just going to literally put our middle finger. So we're going to take it off from where it was on that D chord and put it on the uh, third fret of the E string. I'll show you what we've got so far. This song, what makes it quite easy and fun to play is that this finger stays in the same place the whole time. All right, uh, doesn't change. I don't think for the whole song, I don't think it it changes. Um, so that bit again. Okay, you don't have to play at the speed. You slow it down. Everything that you learn, you should play slowly first. All right. Next one. Take middle finger off, and we're just going to stick our index finger on the second fret of the A string. Right. Now, um, a little technique, it doesn't matter if you don't get this uh, from the word go, but what I like to do is I like to pos position my finger in such a way that I kill the top string because I don't want to hear the top string particularly. I'm going to show you the difference if, uh, if I mute and if I don't mute. So if I don't mute, it sounds... It's not awfully offensive, but it's not quite right. So what I do is I just angle my finger up, all right, so that it is deadening that string, uh, that E string there. 
Last one, the strumming pattern stays the same by the way, uh, is the second fret on the D string. And that chord is an A7 suspended fourth for your information. Alright? It's not one that you get to play a lot. It's an A chord, but it's got a uh, this note which is a seven and a suspended fourth. Okay? We'll go into the theory another time. Right, okay, so I'll just show you how that goes. So that is the uh, chord sequence for both uh, the verse and the chorus. All right, so that is the verse and the chorus. Um, so that's handy. The only thing that changes is your dynamics. Now, uh, by dynamics, I mean kind of how how loud uh, or quiet you're playing, or how hard or soft you're playing. All right. So I'll give you an example. Um, the verse. Fifteen years old, broke my leg. Wipe the words off. Okay. So I'm I'm keeping my strumming light. I'm also doing a bit of palm muting. All right. Palm muting is where you your palm your strings a little bit and makes it dead in the sound okay so then when I get to the chorus I'm, I'm on my way. with your fletcher man. Not excessive, obviously, but just a little bit. So your verse, you might want to play like that. Just kind of really light and muted. Okay, so that's that bit. Um, there is only one other section uh, to the song, uh, for the rhythm guitar anyway, uh, and that is... Um, Found our hearts broken And I've not seen that So that bit, um, that is the third shape we did. Found the last shape we did, okay, which is where you have your index finger on the second fret of the D string. Back to the first shape, I'd probably tend to use my index finger rather than my middle finger for this one though. Okay, and then finally, that one again, second fret on the A string. So just a reminder of that, third finger stays the same, all right? So it stays the same, doesn't move. So that bit. So we only do those two there. So I began wait, and that's the A suspended, uh, seven suspended fourth that we did before. Okay, second fret on the D string. So again, I can wait to go home because I'm on my way. the whole song there's some other bits that uh, another guitar does but that's the the basics um, of that song all right uh, I will do a tab for you as well uh, and I'll link it in the description below so yeah hope you enjoyed that like I said uh, if there's any song you want to learn uh, please let me know and I will do my best to transcribe it um, let me know if you want it kind of um, advanced level or beginner level like if you want me to simplify it a little bit because some songs are quite tricky if you haven't got some sort of basic foundations of of chords um, yeah and as I said uh, you can have a one-to-one -one, uh, Skype or zoom lesson with me uh, if you want just send me an email thanks see you later